All right. In the lodge now. Psychonauts. Stuff happened. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. Maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for psi cards. Eight hundred. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your psi powers. Like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, psi powers were all gray and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have psi powers. Ah, but you know kids these days. Ah, now here's something every young psi cadet needs. Uh... Okay. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. All right, all right, I'll do it. Ah, doesn't look like you've got the rank you need there, kiddo. And there's no excuse for that. Plenty of ways to get promoted around here. Collecting mental figments and cobwebs helps you rank up. So does finding side challenge markets or building them out of side cards and cores. You also rank up when you sort people's emotional baggage. And if you want to skip a bunch of ranks at once, well, you should talk to the Camp Ranger about his scavenger hunt contest. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. Now, you take that psi core there, put it together with nine psi cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new psi challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? Now, I'll take you it. take excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Now, you take that psi core there. Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. Now, you take that psi core. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? That's it for now. All right, go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. <laughs> sorry, 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 my bad. Not to worry, my bro. Let's just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. Huh. <laughs> do over. Two, oh, three, invisibility four. and intangibility. Sheesh. The cowbell rocks. The cowbell rocks for thee. Rem solo. <laughs> Woo! You heard the man. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh man, Stop. is it me? Am I off again? No. Hip. Foot cramp. Ow. Hold on. Uh. Okay. Let's go. Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. You know what? You hated that part? <laughs> it's like you're reading my mind. Oh, hi, person. Hey, Lily. Do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha Nine's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. Look at those two. 
Who'd even want a stupid friendship bracelet? I don't know. I wouldn't mind one. Yeah? Well, that's stupid. Want to measure my wrist? Just in case. Mm, no. Want to measure my wrist? Okay. Here, birdie, nope. birdie. No. Yeah, that. Nah, that's not making the reception any better. Well, nothing in here. What of one? Okay. Ah, the bear. You have a water phobia? <gasps> Me too! Huh? No. Well, yes. I just... I mean, my family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? Mm -hmm. No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Ah, uh, travel station. Where would you like me to take you? Nowhere. Pop in and... Psychonauts comic number one? What? Oh, is a uh, scavenger hunt item? Alright. Psychic fishing? I've read about that. Oh, I could never fish. That would be terrible. Regular people can be mean to fish, I guess, but I can't. I can hear everything the little guys are thinking. Fish think? About what? Well, normally not much, but today they're all kind of freaked. 
They're scared of something in the lake. Me too. Now that I know it's full of freaked out thinking fish. There's something big and scary out there, Raz. I wonder, could the old legends be true? What are you doing? Shh! I'm trying to hear them talk. Hey, can't climb that flag. I can barely hear you. No. Got it. Okay. I think I'm over there. Yep. No offense, but you guys smell like garbage. It is their primary diet. Yep. Yep. Ah, hey, card. Hello, person I've hey, never Mr. Met Crowler, before. can I take out a canoe? Mr. Who? You will call me Admiral, son. No, you can't charter a vessel. Not without an oarsman's badge. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? Where can I get an oarsman's badge? I'd really like to take out a canoe. You gotta get it from one of the official camp counselors. I can't have just anybody in my fleet. Excuse me, Admiral? Eh? Where can I get an oarsman's badge? Okay, no, no. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business. So oh, that coming a mile away. Right? What are you guys doing? Beat it, you kid. Yeah, stupid fish. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, you be a fish. Can't get through there. Ah. Hmm. Well, I'm obviously not supposed to be here yet. What's this? Just an update for everyone. Nils and I are still broken up. Okay. I see that thing. Ah, crud, come on, where is it? Nope, it did not zoom in the slightest. Can I climb these trees, I wonder? I can. Ah. Uh. Convenient. Hip, 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 hip. Oh, crud. And 
around. Get up. Okay, I don't think I can make that jump. Hmm. Nope, definitely can't make that jump. Run away from the, uh, thingamajig. Oh. Run away from the thingamajig. puzzles yet, I don't think. Oh, hello, Baron. bird up there. Oh, what? Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, What's just safe? now, in the woods. <laughs> mm. No, it must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there, lurking, watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You tree sitter! <laughs> well, that came out of nowhere. Hello. That looks like fun. It's work. I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. How's the testing going? Not now, Pats. How's the testing going? Not now, Pats. Uh, ah, double jump didn't go off. How do I get in there? Excuse me, Mr. Ranger, but I'm looking for Sasha Nine's lab. Well, now, even if I knew where it was, and, and if it were down here, and even if you were very, very close to it right now, you, you shouldn't be poking around here. This forest is off limits. Now get! Oh, 
card. Hmm. Ah, that's how I get in. No! Okay. Uh, so how do I get out? Okay, good. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought... Oh, Nils. When will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back. And he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly! And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. Hey, Elka. Why don't you and your little goggles go poke around in someone else's private business? Nils! Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Not fair! Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dodo? Hey, Elka! Hey! Butt out! Huh? Uh, might as well jump from the stump. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Alright, so apparently... Let's go to Ford's... Crawler's I mean, equipment. my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Makes the, uh... Which of the columns out of the court and cards? Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Crawler. The greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had! Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and ah, detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic. But 
It can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? I better right. go. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Bacon? Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Uh, still have no idea how to do that. Oh, there's a card. Yep. Yep. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. And soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. I saw something over here. Or the other side? Yeah. There it is. yeah. All right. And F. for details. Alright, hi. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. <laughs> Badges for being proficient in the thing, like as in you've shown that you've practiced it and all that. I guess it's more like Pokemon badges then. Cool! I can't wait to burn s Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Yes, I heard you were raised in the circus, uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Alright. Burn them all! Great! Great! Now, but great! You can do it! You're getting warmer. Keep going. Come on now, just look at something. And then use your new power to set it on fire. I didn't train you in that so you could set me on fire. Now knock it off! Woo! It's getting hot in here. 
Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. You can do it. Excellent work. Well, I mean, Fire that's how I was doing it with all the other ones. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> Well, now I have one psychic power. Uh, checklist of this place. Yeah, got everything in here. There it goes. This was the right way, right? Nope, this is the observation room. Alright. What's in here? Nada. Just like he said. Aha! A stump. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Krell? Um... Bring me near the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. Huh. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. Wait, what am I doing? Should have gone back to the, uh... Lodge so I could buy... Help. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to say. Well, hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, uh, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. Hey, you guys sound great! <laughs> Much obliged, partner! Careful, eh? My hair goes up in flames, and we're all gone. That's really catchy. Thanks a lot, man. Move along, man. little doggy. Nothing to burn here. Ah, good. You're both at me into fire. Secret. Oh, oh. And the thing. Hi. Hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Now with that, ah, no. now that dowsing rod will help you find Eric sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. Yep, thank you. What else can I do you for? Now, I'll take that excellent choice. Like what else can I do I'll you for? Alrighty then. What else can I do I'll you for? It. Sold to the big headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do I'll you for? It. Excellent choice. What else can I'll I do you it. for? Alrighty then. What else can I do you That's for? That's it for now. Alright. Go get more airheads and come hey, on. Why back. are you stopping? Oh, oh I thought you, you stopped. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go. Like Phoebe's having another flare up. 
Sorry, 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 my bad. Not to worry, my bro. Let's just pick it up. Oh no, is my problem back? We'll have to calm down. Can't burn anything. Can't burn anything. All right, can't get you. I will take out your intestines, fry them into hash browns, and sew them back into your body before you ever get the chance to try that again. All right, well, that was entertaining. I'll end it here. <laughs>